All right, well, speaking of going insane, how about we continue this? I don't have to behave as much today because I didn't get hit by a car yesterday. Oh, okay, right. We're still, I guess, halfway through this. Kasuga's, like, trying to escape this whole thing. I might change the outfits again today. No, this one. Am I beating on someone that <laughs> just got out of the hospital? Wait, what? I only just noticed that. Imp patient. Get it? Uh, uh, what? <laughs> oh my god. Didn't this game come out in 2020? Like, that's, uh, um... Oh. That's kind of, um... Huh. Given the events of 2020. I suppose they didn't know what was gonna happen, but still. I wonder if that was called the COVID attack. Back when the game came out. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that gets me every time. It's just the sound effect. The fact that he's a cop. And he's also beating on this. This dude that just left the hospital. Oh. I got another one of these club promoter texts. <laughs> Big night, massive night tonight. There are eight birthday, eight people celebrating their 35th birthday tonight. Damn. What a weird thing to say. But to, I'm sorry, it's just... These texts make me laugh, that's why I haven't uns unsubscribed from them. Too spread out. Let's go with normal attack. Okay. I mean, you know what they say about people born in August, right? They're like. Most certainly Christmas babies. Or is it September? Well, late late August, early September. Do I need to heal anyone? I guess the heal machine's back there. So this is why it's important to build their relationship, because it looks like you get a free follow-up attack. It's not really high stakes here. I can just go back and heal. There we go. Okay. 
heal machine, where are you? Alright, let's save. Oh, it's like an e okay. <laughs> Never realized what this was. It's an energy drink machine. That note, I haven't really used any heals at all. I've had to use them less and less in this game. Where is this pointing to? Oh, this goes backwards, hang on. Oh wait, there we go, got it. Fog of war. This wasn't 100% clear. What? We're fighting janitors now. Oh, there's a lot of them here. I should probably take care of Slugger. Heavy first. <laughs> okay. I'm not really sure what I should make of that. Uh oh. Good God. Man, I love this attack. It just has such a massive range. You. Nice. Wow, I somehow blocked that despite the camera not being quick enough. Uh, this might just work on its own. Okay, it didn't. I need to get her an upgraded weapon. I'll try and do that today. That's fine, he's just bleeding. take advantage of the fact that I can just heal easily. It's only going to take a minute. We'll probably save a headache. There we go. Wait, is that any... No. It looks like a, a hidden room. Maybe I'm wrong. All right. Then in here. Yeah. 
We good? Oh yeah, I should probably... Just quickly check for items. Uh... What does that mean? I guess we're all on the same side. Ah. Actually, use this one. Wait, oh, I can't call anyone. Oh, right, because they... Yeah. It was established there was no reception. I didn't think it would apply to this either. Okay. That makes sense. Kinda. Ah, oh, just missed him. I thought I would get that at least. <laughs> what? It's like the second time I've come across one of these heavies, and that's all they do. Okay, cool. Nice. Yeah, that's not going to work against the cop. <laughs> nice try. Alright. I'm just going to keep going. It's too far back now. Okay, hold on. Dexterity up? I think I'd rather keep her defense high. <laughs> it's... I mean... It's positive. What a weird choice of color. Like, red meaning positive, and blue meaning bad. multiple fights. Yeah, it's two different rooms. Alright. It's probably worthwhile. spread out. Actually, that's not too bad. Nice. Uh-oh. I might get it to just buff the team. This work? Nah, he's out of the way now. Hey, be down. <laughs> Come on. Now we need to get rid of this dude. 
Um, since accuracy is down. You stop throwing sand. Oh wow, he's tanky. Really? Oh no, we got two of them throwing sand. Um, ugh. I guess just go normal attack just in case it misses. Yeah. Not good. Come on. Okay, good. No! Dude, everyone's inaccurate. For <laughs> Kasuga. Come on. Ah. There we go. Do I need to go back and heal? Uh, it's not too bad. Surely we're like at the end of this now. No, 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 just use a couple items. Alright, should do. <laughs> I love how her face goes back to angry. But should hopefully get a couple. Oh, it worked. Come on, multiple. Yes. Oh, no. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Very good. Do I get my item back? Oh, wow. She does a lot more damage if you buff up with the perfume. Damn, Adachi. It's the savage takedowns. I'm worried we're gonna get to a boss encounter or something. So, I didn't get my item back. I mean, not that it matters that much. Yeah, okay. Half eaten bento, 40 HP, sure. 
Oh, they are cookies. There you go. Wow, okay. 300 HP. Not using that anytime soon. Man, oh. I've had these items for a while, so... Man, that just doesn't end. <laughs> the scowl. That's so good. Excuse me, is, are they using their butts to attack? The Adachi Slam. Oh no, yeah, they are. They absolutely are. Excuse me, guys. Man. I mean, on the bright side, I'm going to get a lot of money out of this. This is why they warned, like, you need at least level 15. I'm going to give, hang on, Adachi the buff. Oh, damn it, no burn. <laughs> yeah. Of course he's on face. Uh, that's probably the most damage right there. Epicenter. Oh, that was good. A dodgy slam. The whole thing is like she's bored. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, they wake the fire. Not bad. I don't know if this will... Oh, let's try. No, he moved! Oh, no, it worked. It worked. <laughs> it worked. Use normal attack. Oh, perfect. All right, we're good. Mm. 
Uh, okay. Before we go into the next room. Just that. Ah, oh, damn it. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> oh, well, it's fine. I'll get him, you can. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this. Hey, Rocky. On YouTube. Alright, I don't think I need to go a vault on this one. Oof. Getting pretty heavy. it doesn't matter too much like after this I can just heal immediately oh <laughs> it's okay is that this game's version of a mimic? Just some weird dude hopping out of the chest? <laughs> is is that what it's teaching? I guess it is. Wait. Did I go the right way? Yeah. Wow, this is um, a lengthy section. I'm glad I didn't start this last night. Guess I don't have to fight everything. Clearly one of these is bad. Oh, that was worth it. I've been I've been looking for an upgrade for her. Nice. You know what, I don't care. Oh. <laughs> Zero consequences.
I bet they put that dude in the safe just to make you paranoid of safes. I wonder how many people don't open those safes, or maybe open one or two. Because they're worried that um, it's going to contain, like, one of those weird dudes. Um, do this. Oh, I may have chose the wrong one. No, it's fine. It's fine. It worked. Get him! I'm surprised that didn't hit anyone. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't expecting the attack to land. I've never seen that land before. Oh, you're weak. Okay. That's the first time I've seen the sledgehammer actually land. Yeah, no, I'm, go I'm going to use this. This is useful. <laughs> of course. Like, it didn't work on the police officer once. Damn it. Fine. Thing. Ah, I almost got through it. Yes, Stevie, I could what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright. Uh, they're close enough together. Hang on, give it a sec. Eh, uh, they're kind of far away. They're too spread out. I might be able to take out. Yeah, there we go. Hey, Lucas over on YouTube. I have to specify that so the people on Twitch don't get confused. Wait. I'll try a stun. Okay. 
Uh, yeah. I thought so. I couldn't remember if it was weak to the pigeons or not. Get him! Uh oh. No, we should be, should be good. I hope. Just finish him! Cool. Uh, last time I healed before I went through a door, I regretted it. Dude, this just doesn't end. I guess I have enough mana to last this fight, so. That should get both of them. Or not. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, oh, that might get both of them. Man, they're never close together when I want to use Breaking Top. Yeah, too far away. Nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> that works. We're going to be level 20 by the time we get out of this. Alright. Uh... What have I got to restore MP? 8 MP. 10. Okay, there we go. Well, so it's not a lot. It'll have to do for now. Is that a safe? I'll get him, you can. Yeah, does it? Um, yeah, fire defense. Yeah, that's right, fine. It's almost been half an hour in here. Plus sort of 40 minutes. They weren't kidding when they said be ready. She still has a lot of mana left. Ooh. 
Okay, that does a lot. I need to use that more. Uh, I'm gonna conserve. I love how their butt gets bigger when they go to attack. Okay. A twitchy, a twitchy streamer. I'll just use normal attack so he regains mana. Right. It looks like the stack well is coming up. Or not. Ugh, it's another fight. Could probably make a run for it. No, no, I can't. Ah. Uh oh. The not weak to fire. Uh I feel like I should use this as a chance to get numbers MP back after this attack. I just want to see how much it does. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that enemy design. Okay, this is not too bad. <laughs> Impressive. It didn't reduce accuracy. Should probably deal with this one first. Sorry, I thought she's fine. I'm hoping that one of them levels up and that'll make the mana situation a little better. Probably get away with using this. Ah, oh, that sucks. Don't miss. Okay, I can probably use an attack now. Come on, level up. Oh, not even close. Mm. 
Not even close. I hope this is at the end now. Uh, okay, who's low? I mean, it's better than nothing. We'll see how we go. I can't sneak. The compulsory battles. Uh, none but can handle the heavies. Hate these muggers. Well, I'm out of mana. Uh, probably should focus the one down. It sucks that you don't get your item back. <laughs> it's just gone. Uh, nah, I'm, I'm gonna save. I'm just worried that there's gonna be a big fight coming up. Oh, I can't pyro belch. Please let this be the end. Uh, wait, what's this? Am I gonna regret this? Okay. Who does that go to? Hammer. Hmm. Probably a different job. Okay. Oh, you gotta be kidding. How is this not over? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh, okay. I can't use it. Um... Should, uh, should I be worried? Okay, that one's taken care of. Yeah, good. Thought so. Oh, that's that's really not cool. No, but yes. <laughs> are these enemies? Oh, come on. 
I don't have enough apparel built. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm using it. I think it's necessary. Perfect timing. Okay. That's good. She already doesn't have mana anyway. Nice. Okay, finish it, please. I guess I may as well. It's not over. I don't think I've seen this section in the series that has been as long as this. Unless I'm going around in circles, like... Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna pay attention. No, but see, I'm finding items, so it can't be that I'm going around in circles. I'm a little desperate here. Hey, Laura. Ah, uh, this is compulsory. I can't get through this without fighting. Okay. I mean, I have heals, it'll be fine, it's just... It's a little scary. Stop it! Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, okay. The key to these dudes is just hit the one closest. I'm gonna have to get Numbers MP as high as I can. He's gonna be on heal duty. Ages away from leveling up. No, I'm going this way. There's probably items there, but I, I can't fight. Oh, never mind. Crap. Uh oh. Can I run? Some battles and <sighs> Okay. Um, this is bad. Yeah, numbers only going on manual attacks get mana to be able to heal. Okay, he does have... He has enough mana. Nah, what? Are you kidding? Oh my god. Um... Ugh. 
Okay. Um. You first. The key to this is going to be keeping Namda alive. Ugh, this is this is bad. No, 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 no. Stay alive, please. Okay, um. Yeah, eat the sandwich. Because we're gonna have to do some self heal here. Alright, this is not a bad idea, actually. Then he gets mana and HP back. Hang in the Oh no. Uh, this misses, I'm gonna be annoyed. Oh, thank you. Ugh. Right, I'm still in it. At least Kasuga's got MP for this. That didn't do much. All of them are resisting. Um, where is he? There he is. They got the heal because all my damage is in them right now. Next, please don't block it. Oh, 
Okay, he's got to do normal attacks now. If it wasn't for this MP recovery thing, I'd be screwed. Okay. Good. <laughs> Good. doing oh dude <laughs> this segment just doesn't end okay um what who what it's okay at least with these guys they do have a weakness to fire. Nice! Yeah, she's probably gonna go down. I don't think it's worth it to heal her, like, she can't cast at the moment. Okay, he should die. Yep, nice. I've actually been pretty lucky that they haven't focused on her. <laughs> Magic back. Okay. Um. Dexterity is down. I feel like that should probably go on Adachi. Barely hanging on. <laughs> That's nice. The other thing is, the moment I can use my phone again, I can summon a. Oh, thank you. Okay. We're good. Everything's fine again. What a relief. Yeah. 
Wow, this is still not over. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Did I make it like a dragon? What the? Oh, they're eating. Hey, Colorin. This is cool. Oh, not usable still. It's Friday, how's my day? Long. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Oh, you can't do heavy beatdown on this? Interesting. Um, I think it'd be a good idea to do this. Okay, that works pretty well. Next. Uh, yeah, this is a problem. So what can I use here? I can use beat down, but I can't use heavy beat down, which is weird. But okay. Again? Oh no, this is going to be a really hard fight. Okay. The excavator. I'm sorry. I, what was I expecting? For it to care. I don't know why I thought that would work. Makes perfect sense why it didn't. Oh, we got a we got a fair fight now. The heavy machinery is too much of a chad. <laughs> I guess. Man, I was getting worried. Heal her. She needs it. Go in. I would have used Nancy already, but I can't. Hey, Gami. Uh, yeah, just stick with us. That's so tough now, are ya? <laughs> I 
Levels up all around. Um, not that it matters. This, this surely is safe. Wooden flipper. And hang on. Hang on. Um. Huh. I wonder what it is. Alright, anyway, that's fine. Probably a crafting material. Is this freedom? Wow, that was all. That was an hour and <laughs> ten minutes. Probably a little more. I suppose this is why the game warned me. Where are we? The harbor. Guess we must have gone through some secret passage. What would it be for, though? Probably to transport illegal goods. Smuggling is a Liumang special. Nah. Does your phone work now, Adachi san? Hmm? Yeah. You have a number for the Seria clan? We gotta warn the chairman. Mabuchi's gonna use us as an excuse to start a war with them, right? Ooh. Sounds about right. Yeah, that's the problem. Mabuchi's trying to break down the Great Wall, and if it falls, it means Ichinjo is going to go to war. <sighs> I'm kind of shocked he can just call up the chairman of the Seria clan. Crazy. I guess that's how much he trusts him. Ichiban's a strange guy. Ha, huh, that's the first thing we've agreed on. What? A shooting? By the Liumang? What did you say? I see, uh, right. I understand. The Liumang attacked the Seria clan? Uh. Yeah. Two Seria clan Lukuza got shot in public. Man, they've really upped the violence in this one. Usually they this would fade to black and you wouldn't see this at all. Wait, what? Did it just say they were both declared dead at the hospital? Son, they didn't need to get to the hospital. Like, one of them had at least seven holes in his head. Takabe, 
反転工人えハンピン・リューマンの島高部は反転工事に向かったのかあそこの奥にはチョウっていうやつらのボスの店があるこのままじゃ全面戦争になるぞずっと守られてきた偉人さんの金庫がこんなあっさり破られるのかみんなマブチに踊らされてんだ俺らのこと口実にしてよクソでも野々宮殺しの犯人はやはりマブチだったな<笑>あのクソ野郎ニヤついてゲロリアがったでも動機はまだ謎だよねうーんどうした足立さんえいやマブチの言葉がいまだに気になっててないいよもうあのクソ野郎の言葉なんてやっぱり野々宮が殺されたのって私たちが原因なのかな<笑>俺らは関係ない。ああ、バイ。全然、私はクラブのだって殺したのはマブチでしょ。そしてマブチは私たちを狙って構想の出しに使ったんだから。いや、サッチャン、それは違う。狙ったんじゃない。そうか。読めたぜ。何が野々宮殺しの原因や動機からスタートするとこの問題の回答は出ねえつまりマブチの狙いは清流会との戦争だそうみてえだなマブチが戦争を始めたいならすぐに自分で仕掛けりゃいい Just about the supposedly eight people celebrating their birthday turning 35 at a club Man そんなことしてもし戦争が始まる前に死亡者がマブチだとバレたらどうなる。他の組織が黙っちゃいない。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。ああ、おっさん。Oh, so anyone who upsets the balance, blah blah blah, something. This guy's face looks familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. I feel like I've seen this face somewhere before. Not in the context of the game, just in general. つまり種まきは野々宮殺しそして水をやるってのは俺たちが野々宮殺しを追って真淵に近づいた行動ででさっきのビデオの撮影で喧嘩の準備が完成したことで花が咲いたっていうのがまさにそうだろうなそして全体の文脈から察するにマブチが言う水やりの役目は俺たちである必然はなかったんだろう何よそれさらに言えるのは殺された野々宮も特に彼である必然もなかったってことだ野々宮の店のケツ持ちは清流会だろマブチの計画をシンプルに言えば清流会の息がかかった人間を殺しそれに反応した人間を使って構想の口実に使いたかったんだそのシナリオのそれぞれ役目は野々宮でも俺らでも誰でもよかった I still can't believe they showed that そんなことなった It shows how much more uh brutal this game is 戦争を始めたきゃ回りくどい手が必要だったんだろう They usually leave it up to inter- well, your imagination, not interpretation. Made nachos earlier. What's the go-to for nachos? I haven't had them in years. Jordan, Janizo, no yaro. 
しかも最後はマブチの思うようになるなんて絶対に許され落ち着けカスガ今は冷静になれ I think the last time I had him was like at a work function マブチは切れ者だぜ Um I forgot what it was, but no, it's the ones where they put like little pieces of steak and then just all the fixings. Onion, beef, mince, taco seasoning. Ah, like very similar to white, white person taco night. <laughs> Yeah, nothing wrong with white people taco night. But that is the exact description. <laughs> It's the exact description. Yeah, I'm not knocking it. I'm just, just saying, it is, it is what it is. The easiest way you can level up it, level it up, and not make it white person is just simply get shredded beef. Like, don't get mince. The moment it's mince, that's that's white person taco. If you want to level it up, just get shredded beef, like beef for a stir fry, and then get um, chorizo and dice it, and that will level it up immediately. What if you're a white person? There's nothing wrong with it. But I'm just saying, like, if you don't want to hear someone of Latino descent call it white person taco night, well, I'm just saying, that's, that's the bare minimum you do to it. It's very easy to convert it to something that isn't white people taco night. There's nothing, no sub stories. Wait, what? Whoa! Oh no, the trash is gonna. Ah! <laughs> Now the trash is going to attack me. Okay. No, we need to take these dudes out quickly. They drain mana. Yeah, I mean, basically anything that isn't minced meat and just typical taco seasoning will do it. You don't even need to seize, just like, marinate the meat. That's all you need to do. We, we don't put like a seasoning on it. Taco seasoning is basically like a paprika mix. Which, it's just like, You don't like the steak I described? Well, I said simple, but like you can do any, any sort of grilled meat. Grilled meat is the key. Marinated in what? Anything. Probably something that has a sort of herb twist to it. Like, you, you think when we make it, it's just like, there's a specific taco marinade? There isn't. It's just marinated meat, dude. I don't know what I could draw an equivalence to. Like, I'm trying to think like... 
And I imagine you're making spaghetti. You don't, you don't have to get a spaghetti sauce. You can, you just get something that's at least has some form of tomato in it, or something along those lines. It's just like you just get a sauce to go with the pasta, or you make it. Like there's, there's no need to get a specific thing. It's the same with, with taco meat. It's just like, there's no specific thing. Just make your meat. Just any nicely marinated meat will do. Or just go with like a fish taco. Fish tacos are easy because you don't have to overthink it. It's just battered fish, typically. It's the same kind of line of thinking, right? There's no special taco fish, it's just fish that's battered. It's the same with the meat. It's, there's no special meat, it's just marinated meat. Oh, we got an AoE attack finally for her. Nice. Would I do a cooking screen stream? No. Because I don't have the room and I do not want to do it. Oh, don't have the room, don't have the equipment. Both things. It's not what I'm known for. I didn't do a short vid, I just showed like the aftermath or something stupid I did. It wasn't, it wasn't a thing, it was just, I had to share, because it was funny. Ah, uh, that's not going to get anyone. I'm kinda worried, like I'm losing a lot of health very quickly. I guess I should see if there's any armor for sale before moving on. Fine. Jeez. 
Uh, food, but they're guarding it. Probably. Yeah, it's easier. Oh my god. Uh, actually, hold on. I mean, I enjoy these games, but man, sometimes, like, the enemy spam is just out of control. Like, you can't go two minutes without an enemy encounter. Okay. Excuse me, I need to get heal items at the very least. I think the most important thing is MP, and then these are just in case of emergency. Oh, there's like status heal stuff. I'll get some of this. Okay. Oh, not a restaurant. <laughs> Chicken of the sun. I guess that's... Is there a restaurant nearby? That one. If I can get to it. It's weird that it would be the end of it being Spanish, but then the word chicken being in English. Oh. Oh, I see. I'm wondering why I keep hearing noises. It's because they're bumping into people, not me. <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> Okay, that works. Uh, I'll order the recommendation for once. They are really... I guess that makes sense, they're guarding it, because it's the main story. gonna use regular attacks. <laughs> Alright Nancy, you're up.
<laughs> oh, man. I mean, the buzz status affliction, something. The one in the rear. Nice. Nancy beating up a chef is funny. <laughs> I didn't even think of that, you're right. Whoa! Whoa, what happened to Adachi? <laughs> what was that flip? Uh, I think he tripped over something and he just went flying. Nice, good. There is a... I'm worried if I go into the shop, it's going to respawn them. Okay, let's see. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is expensive. But it would increase her attack by like 49. I feel like, because right now, you know, the rest of them don't get that much of a benefit. But her her attack would effectively almost triple. I'm gonna I'm gonna get it. Yeah. No, that 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 was worth it. Okay. Particularly in the last bit, man, she really wasn't doing a lot with her melee attacks. This is Liu Mang Te from here on out. Makes sense, there'd be a lot of commotion. Was there a fight? Looks like Captain Takabe made it pretty deep into enemy territory. They're up ahead. Damn. Let's hurry, Kasuga. Wait, where do we go? Oh, here. Yeah. Okay, got it. Uh -huh. Hey! Are you sorry you too? <laughs> I can't help but give them a bogan voice. Let's take care of these guys quick! Alright, let's see what happens now. How much damage is she gonna do? Okay, no, that's much better. The music is dope. The battle music or the music I was playing before the battle? Uh, the games do have good music. Uh, yeah, just go all out. Good timing. I got some garlic. I thought I messed up and fell over the balcony. I mean, I kind of did. If you're going to get in my way, then I'll kill you. Oh, 
<laughs> Wasn't a very gracious fall. This, this was definitely a worthy spend. Good, he's stunned. Don't have to worry about him. I guess there's technically a weapon available for Kasuga now that's better than the uh, medical vibration wand. I always have to think about how I'm going to phrase it because... Well, you know what it is. Medical vibration wand. Guys, please. A whisk? Eyebrows, whoa. <laughs> that dude's eyebrows. Kasuga. What makes it medical? You ever heard the term good vibrations? Well, that's where it comes from. It's a medical wand that provides good vibrations. It's healthy.彼女は殺される直前の店長と電話で話をしてる。本当よ。電話越しにラオマって手下たちの叫んでる声が聞こえたわ。俺ら水中手がかりにマブチの忍びを嗅ぎ回ってた。そして反品リュウマンの倉
I'm referring to the side quest in which one is it? Kawami? But Kiryu um comes across a a card on the ground. And then the content of the card was shocking enough, but then it led to just this whole rock, paper, scissor minigame that has women in bikinis dressed as bugs <laughs> wrestling. And uh, I don't think, like, any other moment in this series has taken me as much aback as that moment. Like... あずしたらあんたボコボコにして力ずくで止めさせてもらうからです。もじゃもじゃ頭のクソ野郎が。俺たちを力ずくでから安く見られたもん。<笑> The, the massage dancer was pretty funny, though. But at, at that point, I had played enough of those games that I knew that, you know, what was going to happen obviously wasn't going to be normal. So whilst, you know, I couldn't have guessed what was going to happen, there was some sort of mental preparation. I gotta say that this 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 game in particular has had moments that I could not predict, and it's great to have that again. It's honestly been a while. But yeah, that game had a lot of moments like that. There was also. This dude that went to nightclubs and danced in a diaper, and his... It wasn't his name, but his title until you found out what his real name was, was Walking Erection. So, you know. Just normal things. Just classic Yakuza gameplay. It was kind of a bummer that the capture card at the time had audio issues, so the gameplay has weird audio pops, which it, it bugs me when I see the old footage for it. It's something that, of course, has been fixed since, but man, between the old microphone I used to have and just that, uh, I, I don't recommend watching those VODs, unless you're really curious on me watching these insane moments unfold. I've said this before, if, like, Sega still made consoles, this would be, I think, a franchise that at this point people would get a console from them for, you know? Like, it, it definitely has a, a cult following. Yeah. 
I probably should have just used bait down. That's fine. Oh, I forgot the character's name, but in Like a Dragon Ishin, there's a dude that has the same face. Or a similar face. Maybe it's the haircut. <laughs> Majima everywhere. Nah. He doesn't quite look like Majima. Majima everywhere mode was funny though. Just the, the amount of creative ways I just shoved him into places. I think my favorite was like... Some dude wanted us to go into a bar to get a drink. <laughs> and then... It, it just ends up being him, like... Serving drinks at a bar, so you decide to get the drink, and then he... Decides to charge you a ridiculous am amount for the drink. So... You get into a fight with him, obviously, because that's his end goal. That one was great. And also the, uh, the giant traffic cone that just remained in all the games from then on. Oh man. Good times. Oh yeah, that's right. That was the part where he was at the, um... I don't know if it was a brothel, but it was like one of those clubs and he, uh, he dressed up for Kiryu. Majima's gotta be like one of my favorite video game characters as of late. Though his role isn't as big as it used to be, man, he was just like... It was almost like Batman and the Joker, but like taken to an extreme level. I just loved in Zero where, um, he had breakdancing moves and he would make noises like Mario, so I overlaid, like, Mario 64 music <laughs> whenever I would get into battles and, oh man, that made me laugh so much. そこの あんたら二人とも戦争してるのか。知れだろ。このまま<笑> 
。カスが一番だったな。分かったよ。話を聞いてもいい。でもその前に俺の質問に答えてよ。分かった。マーブチが偉人帳で構想仕組んでるとしてその理由はなんでそんな真似すんのマーブチに何のメリットがあるの<笑>カレン like a dragon 俺が知るかよなるほど、yeah. じゃあそもそもの話 I would like to speak to your manager please 店長それを殺したのがマーブチってのは I mean that's the thing they couldn't exactly make him stoic like Kiryu 否定はしなかったぜ。うん、その答えじゃ足んないわ。じゃあ、話は終わりってことで。やつの目を見りゃわかる。店長を殺したのはマブツだでかい声出したって結論は変わらないよ。待てその人を撃ったら全面戦争だ。マブチはそいつを高みの見物。あんたら。本当にそれでいいのかい何のための構想だよそんなこともわかんねえのに血流す気か何度だって言うぜ、超全部マブチが仕組んだことだここにいる全員があいつに踊らされてるこんな戦争を始めたらあんたらの組織の歴史に泥を塗ることになるんだぞまいったねカスガ君ってさ、器用な嘘をつけるタイプには見えないんだよな。うーん。ただその言葉信じるにははっきりした根拠がいるんだよね。特に俺みたいな立場だと部下の手前があるから。少なくともソープの店長を殺したのがマブチだっていう証拠は欲しいね。それが発端なんだろうお前らの話によれば。ああ彼女が電話越しにラオマってあーいや、okay、それじゃ足りねえのか So it is, yeah I recognize his face So his likelihood is、um, He was in like a dragon mission あの連中に頭下げるしかないかあの連中 It was that guy that in that scene where、um, they were ordered to kill and he just did it So, yeah, okay. I did recognize his face. That'll probably ruin his character, especially if they don't flesh out his background story.、Uh, maybe. I mean, it's too early to tell. I haven't played Infinite Wealth yet, so we'll see. But it's kind of a damned if you do and damned if you don't sort of thing. Is if you make him too much like Kiryu, it'll be like, you know, he's not Kiryu. So they need to make him intriguing enough in his own merits. I think he's got it. I think the quirk of just being a lovable idiot. Works. And the angle of him just. His, imagine, his imagination running wild、um, could definitely play on that angle a bit more. Not just have it be combat related. Like, imagine they extended that logic to sub stories. Like, he starts. In order to take the sub story, he, ha he has to imagine some situations before he's even interested in taking the sub story on. There's room. そしてお前らはもちろんその家族、友人、知人もただじゃ済まさないちょっと何をそれやめとけ常識が通用する相手じゃねえよまあ俺もさ正直必死なんだよねもしマブチが裏切ったとなるとうちは真っ二つじゃんそしてその時清流会とコミジュルがどう動くか
頭使っていろいろ備えとかなきゃなんないしまあまぶちが黒だったらの話だけどさでももしまぶちが白だったらここにいる全員楽には死ねないからねそこそこよろしく笑顔で言うんじゃねえよじゃあマブチがその店長を殺したってことは明らかに。I think just that's how they can keep the gameplay fresh. It's just everything is on a spin on his imagination. もうここで俺らにできることはなさそうだ。わかった。もう知ってると思うけど、コミジロは半端じゃないよ。証拠を手に入れても奴らに消されちゃ意味ないからね。ではお気をつけて。どんだけ嫌味だよ。カスガさっさと動くしかねえぞまあわかった The character I was disappointed we didn't see really much more of was Shinada I kind of liked him as a character And his moveset was fun And as we face off with the boss of Diliamang and now we're marching into Geomijo It's his madness like, it's that simple to just go to the Xiaomijol. They don't exactly let you just stroll up and have a chat. Quit your whining. It's not like we have any other choice. So we're just gonna walk up and ring the buzzer? That's gonna stop working at some point. Well, look who suddenly found some decency. There's literally no way to get in. Let's not panic, man. We need their help. So, that's where we're going. Besides, there's at least one person in the Jiomi Jewel that might give us the time of day. Yeah, the guy with the weird hate boner for Kiryu. Alright, <laughs> oh, the guy with the mask. He's from the, the Jiomi Jewel, right? That's what Adachi san said, anyway. I also said I couldn't be sure. All I'm saying is it's not hopeless, so let's just give it a shot. The only other choice is not going, and I don't consider that a choice at all. Okay. Oh, I forgot about the, like, Pokemon minigame thing. Um, truth is around there, go by the name Yokohama Underground Dungeon. This place is famous for harboring rare Sujimon you don't see above ground. Have I even... I haven't checked in on that since last time. Oh no, okay. <laughs> I mean, given I haven't really been paying attention to it. Okay, he's in there. What? What do you mean? Why? Why is? Why is this in here? Oh my God. Weeb level one hundred. Holy crap, dude. Ah, uh, some of these characters are really good. Alright, enough of that. I'm not actively trying to do that, but, you know, it's nice to know that it's happening anyway. Also, we got a bunch of sub-stories finally, so we can break up working on the main story for a while. Uh oh, he moved. Ah, uh, oh, uh, didn't. That did alright. It's also good to see that she's doing a lot more damage now.
Hang on. I'm still thinking about the job thing. I'm tempted to try some of the other ones out. The problem is you just take such a massive hit in damage. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, that's new. What's your favorite soup? Aside from like Japanese ramen, which is its own thing, I'm pretty partial to like potato and leek. And this um, prawn soup that my dad used to do, but I'm not sure what's in it. But it's pretty simple. I know it has parsley in it and noodles. It's like a seafood broth. What is going on in the background? Are you guys looking at this? <laughs> What's going on in the background? There's like chairs everywhere and then... That can't be normal. <laughs> that old man is practically spinning in a circle. <laughs> Tomato bis soup with rice and grilled cheese. That sounds good. Oh, it's still. What is going on? What? <laughs> These old ladies have, like, completely trashed this restaurant. Okay, I'm no better. I just walked into glass. <laughs> oh, oh, but this is why. I oh, it's outside. Okay, right. No. Okay. So what is this then? A pointing sub story here. No, I'm going indoors for a sec. What do you suppose it is? <laughs> is this the same as the previous game where you can just walk into furniture and it... No, not really. Okay. Oh man, in, in 6 I, I just could not stop doing that. Um, Where is this? The back door, perhaps? No. Supposedly there's something here. Any ideas? I might have to leave it, because it's not... Usually it just plays out the moment you get in range of it. Unless it's like a third person thing. Hang on. First person thing. Hmm. Yeah, weird. No clue. The moment I go inside the bit Oh, you know what? What if it's upstairs? There's an upstairs. Hang on. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Her legs were in the table. Alright, we're good. Another dinner alone. Huh? I wonder why that kid's by himself. And this late too? Oh. Hey, kiddo. You eating all by yourself here? Huh? Oh, yeah. Well, that won't do at all. How about I give you some company? You? You sure? Wow, what a cool guy. Just goes to show that looks can be deceiving. <laughs> Thing is, you gotta pay the 
friendship fee up front. Then there's the chewing fee, the digesting fee, the, well, uh, you know, anyway. I'll take, well, the best thing on the menu. No way, that's extortion. Stranger danger! <laughs> What's that, you little shit? You kids with your big words these days, you're saying there's something off about my policy. Hey, don't yell. You're scaring me. Nope. He's a thug. How can he even think of shaking down a kid, though? Boy. Hey, leave him alone. Can't you see you're freaking him out? Uh, yeah, that's the goddamn point. And if you even think about getting in my way, I'm going to serve you first. Look, I, I don't want this kid to see you getting hurt. Let's take this outside. <laughs> Man, that just reminds me of um someone that I once knew that ran a graphic design business. And they would do things like charge, just... <sighs> things like, this is one of the things they would charge for. Let's say you hired them for a graphic design job, and you had hired them before and just wanted a modification on something. They would charge you a graphic retrieval fee. Like, the, a fee for getting the file off, <laughs> off a drive. That was in storage. That's the kind of person that guy was. Oh, man. Okay, I think I screwed up. Seriously. I'll leave this kid alone from now on. Then get lost. Yes, yes, sir. Hey, thanks, mister. All good, little man. Now, how about you finish up and get on home, huh? Actually, would you mind staying with me till I'm done? My name's Naboru, by the way. Oh. Huh? Would you mind? I just hate eating by myself all the time. Must be a lonely kid. No wonder he looks so happy when that punk first talked to him. Look, I'm more than willing to share. I ordered french fries and dipping sauce and, um... I'd feel like shit if some other jackass came to bully him and I wasn't around. Guess I could spare the time. Alright, bud. I can hang a bit. Oh, and I'm Kasuga. Re really You're awesome, Kasuga-san. Thanks a million. Okay, I'm all done. Oh, they're eating. Never mind. <laughs> I wonder if that dude's still in business. <laughs> I, should, I should probably check up on that, but man, just... That was the most atrocious fee that I remember, was just the graphic retrieval fee. Back when I was a kid, I was alone most nights too. Guess we've got that in common. Father and son side quest moment. <laughs> There's always at least one. But people who don't know won't question that. Uh, I mean... I don't know. It's like, imagine if you went to get your car serviced and then, and then they charged you a fee to go get your car from the lot, you know? It's like that sort of thing. You definitely question it. また来い。Nice kid.
you give the people who aren't tech savvy too much credit. But it's not even a matter of being tech savvy. Like, you don't need to be tech savvy. I mean, maybe, maybe I am giving them too much credit. But I feel like it's something, you know, just the concept of going to retrieve something, like... Wouldn't that be part of the job, surely? Like, just, you apply that to everything. Like, imagine when you went to go get some food on the bill, it was like, you know, food retrieval fee for the chef to go get the food out of the fridge to be able to cook it, you know? Like, he has a job to cook the food. He shouldn't charge you a fee to go retrieve the food he's going to cook for you. I mean, I guess he got away with it enough times. Like, you're probably right. Enough people didn't question it that just did it. I don't need a... What? Wait, 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 why is it... That was w weird. Why did his medical wand disappear? Medical vibration wand. Nice dodge. It's not right to charge, but I guess it was easy money. Yeah. I mean, the dude was, uh... That's just the tip of the iceberg, let's just say that. Why am I getting the weirdest feeling of deja vu right now? Because it's like in the same realm of like in high school. They, my high school used to try and charge voluntary student contribution fees that would be tacked onto your fees for books and stuff. And then if you didn't question it, like, they charged you it. Every year my dad had to have that fight, it was like, why are you calling it voluntary if you're putting it as an, a line item on the bill? It's not voluntary at all. High school charge for books. Yeah. Well, you had an option of getting them new, or they had like a distributor that did secondhand books from other students, and then you paid a fee and you would get the books. So then you wouldn't have to go around yourself. It was like just. You'd get everything you needed for the uh, textbook wise. But then they always tried to squeeze in useless stuff like the student diary. You have a classroom set and you had to return the book at the end of the year. Yeah, I'm not sure of any schools that did that here, but here it's... At least to the best of my knowledge, it's still... you buy textbooks. <laughs> but it's a thing, it's like, you buy them, and then when you're done with them, you sell them to the next person, so it's like... As long as... As long as you keep it... It gives you more incentive to keep the book in good condition, because then you can make your money back when you sell it. 
Or as in, if you don't care it, take care of the book. Then, well, you're gonna be out money. I shouldn't have crossed. How much for the books? I don't remember. They weren't that much. Like, probably 10 US dollars, some of them, for the second-hand ones. If you were getting them brand new, they were about 30. Yeah, like, it wasn't exorbitant. Free is better. It is. Can't argue that. But you know what we lack in high school? We more than make up for it in university. What? What the hell happened to him? Ugh, this isn't selling at all. Oh, how about you, young man? Want to buy some kimchi? Just whipped up a fresh new batch. Well, it isn't fresh, strictly speaking, but don't go calling it old and rotten. I won't, but uh, why are you selling kimchi out here? Why, to earn a living, of course. It's nice to be out in the city talking to the locals. Makes for good advertising. I guess. So how about it? Want to try a little sample? Oh, can I? Since I'm here, I might as well. Ooh, looks good. I'm just having it in front of... Oh, just having it in front of me makes my mouth water. Alright, here goes nothing. Just the right amount of crunch and it's got a nice kick. Uh, wait, this is... More of a kick. Holy! Oh my! Ah, it burns! <laughs> okay, that's what it is. Well, did you like it? Did I like it? What was in that stuff? It was like chewing hot glass. Oh, uh, okay. I think I'm cooling down. Ugh. You know, now that the spice wore off, I can actually taste the rest of it, and it's good. No, it's damn good. I got this sour sort- it's got this sour sort of pepperiness to it. Maybe all that spice unlocked a hidden flavor. And even though the spice really kicked my ass, I kind of want more. You gotta tell me, Gramps. What's in this kimchi? <laughs> ah, it seems you've learned to appreciate the finest subtleties of kimchi. Kudos to you. To make this concoction of mine, I used a secret pepper. Gives it a subtle piquance like no other. Not to mention a heck of a bite. The pepper's known as the Devil's Claw, by the way. Won't find it at any market, that's for sure. Devil's Claw? No wonder it's hot. Unfortunately, not everyone can bear the intensity. Most people take off running before they can discover its true potential. Bet that's why the other dude was running around all crazy. Kimchi works wonders on your health, particularly your skin, but I suppose it's a hard sell when people start screaming bloody murder. Well, it does pack a punch, though... Oh, I thought I was gonna die for a second. No one's ever died eating kimchi. I en it's enjoyed by people of all ages. That being said, it seems like no one around here actually wants my kimchi. Makes me very sad. Yeah, I can imagine. Crazy how one little pepper adds so much heat. Oh yes, and there are peppers out there that add more than just spice. Some are even sweeter than cherry tomatoes. All that aside, I firmly believe that cabbage fermented with devil's claw results in some truly amazing kimchi. Well, I'm glad at least one person tried it. Doesn't do much to reassure me, but I'll take what I can get. Too bad it really melts your mouth before you can finally start to enjoy it. But if no one can handle the heat, then my kimchi's going nowhere. A product that won't sell is no good. Anyway, I'm thinking of closing shop for today. So how about you take the rest of this batch off my hands? Whoa, you sure? Talk. Yeah, eat it all, give it to your friends, do whatever you like. As for me, I'm gonna shuffle out on out of here. <sighs> That's a nice gesture, but I can't imagine who'd want to eat this. Kimchi's really nice. Particularly when you have it with meat. 
Um, yeah, so I mean, here when we say high school, that's like... We only have elementary and high school, right? There's no middle school. So we call elementary school primary school here. There's just primary school and high school. And then it's university instead of college. Though there are, like, um, technical colleges, like ones where you learn trades. Um, but yeah, our equivalent of elementary school, there's no textbooks, really. High school is where the textbooks are at, and then university is, well, if you're paying for university, you pay for the books. If you're paying, you're, like, government-supported position. I can't remember if you do, because my degree didn't have textbooks, really. I think I had one or two, but I didn't bother with them. And I did fine. You have elementary school from K to 5, middle school 6 to 8, and high school 12. Right, so here you have kinder on its own, then there's like a grade called prep, preparatory, prep. There's like prep to 6, then 7 to 12, and then it's university, or TAFE, or whatever you want. Apparently, is this going to be the kid again? Hang on. Oh, it's, I was like, where's the door? You call that a drink? Give me a double shot. Oh, he's reading. In the way, you got the books you need in primary for free. I think it's the same case in Australia. It's just, you don't, like, whatever's necessary, it's the school, it's at the school. The school has everything it needs to have kids read and do stuff. あ、もう<笑> ここの常連なのかえ、まあ、龍城という昔人気のあった韓流スターですよ。ご存知ない。ああ。俺そういうの疎くてよ。ちょっと知らねえな。しかし、そんな芸能人もこういう店来るんだな。初めて見たぜ
新しい段ボールを拾ってきて家を建て直ししなおおそういうことかそういうことだけどそういうことじゃないああ。I wish you could say what level they were. Walking. I think the kid's here again. Okay. Hey, kid. Now, what's he get today? Oh, Nabora is here. Looks like he hasn't eaten. Maybe now would be a good time to catch up. Let's go. Ew. Yo, Nabora. Oh, Kasuga-san, you came back. I sure did. So, you hungry? You bet. Oh man, I'm stuffed. <laughs> you eat like a dinosaur, Naboru. <laughs> oh yeah, then you eat like a, a, a mutant dinosaur. By the way, how old are you, kid? I'm nine, but ten's just around the corner. Oh, so you got yourself a birthday coming up. What'd you ask your mom for? Huh? Aren't kids supposed to get presents on their birthday? I mean, not that I ever did. Mm. Hey, yeah? Were you some kind of troublemaker? I could kind of see it. Jeez. Hey, I wasn't that bad. Okay, maybe I was. But that wasn't the reason at all. I just didn't have any parents to give me anything. Really? Really. And to top it off, my birthday's on New Year's, but... I never got New Year's presents either. A double dose of tragedy every year. <laughs> That's gotta suck. Oh, then maybe I should stop feeling sorry for myself. Oh, no, I wasn't trying to say that. I was just... Anyway, uh, if you could have a single present, anything you wanted, what would it be? Mm. Oh, that's easy. It'd be a red baseball glove at Taniyama Sporting Goods. It's modeled after Sotoyama, you know, from the Major Leagues. That's why it's popular and rare. I try not to ask my mom for much, but I really, really want this. So I told her about the glove. But I bet she just forgot. Aw, <laughs> oh, don't say that. I'm sure she's got a lot going on, but maybe she'll pull through for you. Have a little faith. Okay, I'll try. Thanks, mister. Well, it's getting to be that time about when you're, when kids your age should be doing home, should be... Jeez. Should be home doing homework. <laughs> Can't read. Yeah, you're right. Guess time flies when you're having fun. See you later, Kasuga-san. Later. Oh. So, Naboru wants a glove from Taniyama Sporting Goods. Hope his mum really does remember. Um... Apparently at the train station there's one. We'll go here. Since that's right around the corner. I mean, school didn't stop me from staying up late. <laughs> Damn it! I've always been a bit of a night owl. Holy crap, nice takedown. What is it with kids being out this late? What is going on in this town? Hmm. 
who isn't. A lot of people aren't night owls. But, you know, there's a higher percentage of night owls on streaming platforms, for sure. I know people that go to bed at like 8, eight o'clock and 9 o'clock at night. And it's not because they're old. Make a donation. Yeah. Aww. Oh, easy. ほら、よ。こ、こんなにいいんですか。ありがとうございます。久しぶりに募金してもらっちゃった。そういえばさっき見てたけど、あんまうまくいってないみたいだな。募金活動。はい。I'm going to spend you think it's mostly because schools expect you to be at your most energetic at the moment, never knowing that you are at the most energetic when you actually have time to wake up early and prepare. Yeah. I mean, it's with work. People, on average, the first two hours of work, they don't really do that much. Like, the most productivity usually happens around 10 or 11 a.m. Which is why most people just answer emails and stuff at the start of the day. It's not the case for everything. Oh. They're scamming, poor kid. Still, she's not going to earn Jack in a place like this. え、ヤミクモに話しかけてもうまくいかないだろう。もっと目立つところでやらないとな。少しだけ手伝ってやるよ。ありがとうございます。私、恵みっています。おじさんは俺は春日だ。I don't know when, I mean, eventually the whole 9 to 5 thing, it'll die off. The whole 9 to 5 thing is just a result of production lines. And it's not just in terms of work, it's also in terms of school. Like, I feel like school should start at 10 in the morning and not 9. Um. Popular eatery. Yeah. Maybe that'll be a good spot. I hope the shopkeeper doesn't complain. Alright, let's see if this works. Oh, damn it, already. Hey, you can't do that here. Hmm? I'm the manager of this store. I can't have you soliciting out here without at least telling me first. You need permission these days? I guess that was a rule. Long coming. Uh, yeah, you, I mean, you do need a permit. My bad, I totally forgot about that. If it's cool with you, we can post... Can we post up outside your store? Please, it's for my little brother's surgery. Well, if that's the case, go right on ahead. I thought you might be like those people from earlier. But I won't deny someone was such a good cause. Oh, thank you very much. Nonsense. You're doing the hardest part. Best of luck now. Okay, good. Cool, we got permission. Let's get back to it. Yeah. Um. Wow, that's a lot. See, it's all about location. You're tight with the manager now, too, so this place is your best bet. Yes, thank you for your help. I'll stay here and keep going. Still, I'll bet it's a lot tougher with all these people around now, huh? I'm definitely more tired than I was before, but it's nothing compared to what Makun is going through. Oh. Makun? Ah, your little brother. Yep, he's really looking forward to going to the amusement park with me, mom and dad again. <laughs> yeah, cool. Let's make sure he gets to do that. 
Yeah. Oh, I have to get home soon. Thank you very much for all your help. What a sweet kid. Oh, hey. Didn't know you were here. Ha! <laughs> I wasn't sure when to cut in. My apologies for earlier. I thought you were in cahoots with those guys over there. Who, them? Looks like they're collecting for some cause, right? Something wrong? I don't have any proof, but I think they're just collecting money to line their pockets. It's just a rumor, but... Wouldn't that be terrible if it were true? Especially if they're using kids in need as bait. I was worried you two might have been doing the same thing. No kidding. Yeah, well, wrongful assumption on my part. You can use my storefront anytime. Just wanted to let you know. Now, if you'll excuse me. <clears throat> Wonder if the rumor about those guys is true. Nah, it can wait. I should check on Megumi when I have the chance. Like to five will die because people have to be available 24-7. Nah. I think it's more... It's like a less thing. There's a lot of studies that show that the only generation that's doing that is millennials, unfortunately. Like... Zoomers, they're acting like boomers where... Once the clock has struck the time they need to log off, they log off and they don't... They don't keep working. Millennials have been guilted into thinking they need to keep working. I got, like, I read an article about it, and it made me really think about things. Just like, yeah. The power of saying no is very important. There's Megumi, working hard as always. Please make a donation. My little brother is sick and needs money for his surgery. Doesn't look like anybody can hear her. Surprise. No surprise, considering all the traffic. Ew. Hey, how's it going? Oh, Kasuga-san. I've been receiving more donations than ever. But I'm still a long way from my goal. Yeah? In that case, you need to let your voice be heard. I was watching you earlier, and it looks, it looks to me like you're not getting loud enough. Um, so how do I do that? Easy. Here, let me show you. Huh? The key here is to get everyone to stop in their tracks. Now, how the hell am I gonna do that? Um, yo, a UFO! I'll do a minute. Everybody, listen up real quick. What's going on? What happened? See? That got their attention. Do it just like that, okay? You're up. Give it all you got. Okay. Everyone, please listen to what I have to say. My little brother is sick and needs money. If you could, please consider donating. <laughs> hey, there you go. A donation? Maybe I should do some good for once. That girl's way younger than me, but look at her go. I should donate too. Sure, I'll donate. Huh? Wait! What the hell's going on here? To be honest, in your eyes, Zoomers have a nihilistic view of the world. In your eyes, you're screwed big time, so you don't give up. Looking at alpha generation of iPads made you think there's no hope, so I try anyway. <laughs> That's... I appreciate that perspective. I didn't expect to receive this much. Thank you, Kasuga san yeah, the, the iPad generation of kids is actually scary. Like, people that have been raised on, like, parents just sitting them in front of an iPad. Hi. There was that big thing... There was a massive rabbit hole I went down where... Like... Just... What happens when you leave autoplay on and it's, it's just kids stuff and then it eventually gets to, like... Cursed content? There's no other way to put it. But it's stuff that is, like, guised into being, um, children's content, but it's not. And it's just, it's really bad, man. But, you know, a nihilistic view, whilst, yeah, it is, it is sad, at, at the same time, believe me, it's better than thinking that you need to be, you know, available and willing 24-7 or you would lose your job. Like, it's a really bad mentality. 
that I thankfully have grown out of. Not completely, but like... One of the things that I heard... Um, that helped me change the most was like... At the end of the day, the place you work for will exist without you. There's always going to be more work, but there will never be more life. And yeah, at the drop of a hat, like... If you were to stop working for the place you work for, they continue. And also, the other one is... Any advice that a boomer has given a millennial generally isn't good advice. It comes from a place of, like, unequal footing. <laughs> Just... Not quite, not playing the same game. So, yeah. Don't listen to boomers, pretty much. Good advice. Like, don't get me wrong, it's, it's sometimes they may say something that makes sense, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not the same footing. Um, yeah, it's fine. Always focus on who gives you happiness. Corporate owners are only trying to say they're part of family. Yeah, no, the, the whole thing of, like, blurring the lines between, um, lifestyle and work, that's something that I don't like. And, you know, the feigning of family in the context of work. It's like, just... Whether intentional or not, it's just a weird emotional manipulation. But yeah, again, just from what I've read, millennials are more likely to fall for that, so... And don't stress about, like, real talk. Because <laughs> it's... At the end of the day, we're playing a game where it's, like, there's often very real themes and sad stuff going on. Or, you know, tense things. And then it's just coupled with insanity, so it's fine. It's within the realm of what this game is about. Huh? Man, you gotta be shitting me. Who does that girl think she is with her stupid little pink hat? She's messing up a hell scam. A girl with a pink hat? Is she talking about Megumi? Oh, good. She just got lucky this time. Don't worry about it. Ah, we should have gone for Yakiniku. If not her, now we're stuck with fast fucking food. I'm so pissed. Feel how light the donation box is. Not like you're the only one suffering. I got my motorcycle to worry about. Seems like the rumor about these two is, is true. Man, we gotta do something about that kid. Okay, fine. We see her on the spot again, we'll crush her li the little shit. Dude. Oh. Yo, hold up a sec, guys. Huh? What the hell do you want, Pops? Yeah, that's right, he's in his 40s. Like, again, doesn't look it. Wait, you were with the kid. Collecting donations only to spend it all on yourselves? How low can you get? Tag you eavesdropping on us! Those donations are more than just money. A lot more. That shit is people's hope and desire to be bigger than themselves by helping someone else. First you trample all over everyone's goodwill, and now you're talking about crushing a little girl? Not on my fucking watch. Their goodwill, dude, so cringy. Yeah, yeah how about we teach Gramps here a lesson? It'll make getting rid of that brat much easier. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we can squeeze a donation from him while we're at it. <laughs> I'd love to see you try. Real tough guy we got here. Die! Yeah, they were going to beat up a child. Like, what is wrong with them? Yes. <laughs> 
Oh, is that it? Oh, we're not... That was weird. We're not fighting the partner. Okay, okay. We've learned our lesson. We'll leave the kid alone. You jerks. Do you even know why she's collecting donations? Huh? No. No idea. I'm sure you guys saw how hard she was working back there. Listen up. So it was for her little brother. We were so focused on money, we didn't even bother listening to her. That girl barely knows which way is up, but she's out there doing her best just so she can help her brother. Nah. Putting that into perspective, what you guys were doing sounds pretty shitty, doesn't it? On top of that, she even said she looked up to you for trying to help kids in need. Mm. What? I won't say anything about you two to Megumi. She's already going through a lot with her brother. Last thing she needs is anything that'll bring her down. Man, I feel like a real ass. Yeah. Alright. Hmm, Toja Clan Crest. The hell's this doing here? Anyone who picks up a crest... Okay. Once you collect a certain amount of them, I'll happily trade you. Okay. The other thing... Sorry to go back to the topic of boomers, but like... Not that it affected me, but I have no people that... Man, the boomer pressure of like, having your life figured out when you're a teenager, knowing what career you're gonna have and all that shit... So annoying. Like... Completely unrealistic pressure. Oh, it's just like, man, even if you don't have shit figured out, honestly, the most interesting people I know are people that didn't have every little thing planned. Or like, change careers in their late 20s or early 30s. I don't know. That's all. I'll, I'll 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 change. I'll leave that topic there. But that that was like the finishing thought I was gonna have is on the note of just not listening to boomers shit. <laughs> That's probably number one in my mind is just like the whole thing they were pushing to students. Just like yeah, you gotta you gotta know what you're doing as a career, what you're gonna study, and the direction things are gonna go in. Yo, Megumi. Man. I don't know why Pete like realistically, cute kid. <laughs> I feel like those other those adults wouldn't get anything. Like look at the little box she has. I don't know. Especially the reasoning, it's just like, man... How can you not donate? You have to be a monster. Did she just put a single coin in? That is not- that is not a redemption arc, I'm sorry. You guys were, like, funneling... Funneling money from lies, and that's the best you can do. That's not redemption in the slightest. What's what's the biggest unit of currency that that you can get in a coin? Okay. Everyone else donated quite a bit. Give me a sec. How much did I donate? I donated a hundred bucks Australian, which is like about 70 or 80 USD. It's better than nothing, but like, you know, given the context of them scamming money and the story we gave them, like, really? They feel like that their guilt is going to get removed by donating a coin? Ah, 
ありがとうございますじゃあ俺はもう行くぜ頑張れよはい I guess you know they are bad people あまり深く考えたことなかったがこれからどこかで見かけたらまたやってみるか As far as donations go, the ones that I always give to are like paramedics and um firefighters. Like without without question, I I donate every time I see them. Especially firefighters, like here in Australia, man, they go through literal hell. Like if you've never seen how an Australian bushfire looks like, like during Bushfire season, it straight up looks like hell. Like <laughs> just apocalyptic landscape. So yeah, man. Like they they need the money. You always do Saint Jude when you see them. I don't think I don't know if we have Saint Jude here. I don't think I've seen them here. But yeah, that's that's a good one. Like I know what they do. The ones that I avoid are like those um, charities that, well, see, this is the problem, right? There are some charities that go through agencies to get uh, workers to ask for money. I think Greenpeace is one of them, but the point is these agencies, they get a cut, basically. So they get typically backpackers to do the work. And then I, I hear that they like get a cut for the recruiting or something along those lines. So it's like kind of dodgy. It's usually the ones that stop you in like a shopping mall and then, you know, they clock off at 5 p.m. You want to make sure it goes to the place that you're donating to. Exactly. Yeah, I need to restore her mana. I've actually been using her attacks way more now. Since this upgrade. What was that number? Direct marketing. Yeah. Man, I just... Some of them... Ugh. At least some of the ones I've come across here in Melbourne, but man, the audacity they have. Like, I've, I've been on a phone call, and then they kind of, like, stand in front of me. <laughs> and try to get my attention. I'm like, dude, I'm on I'm on the phone. What are, you, what are you trying to do here? Where is it? Is it really telling me to walk up traffic here? But I've never really understood it. It's just like, they're always in places... Where people are generally, like, just trying to do whatever they need to do and get out. Like, no one's gonna talk during their lunch break. What is going... Do I want to know? What is, what is this? Why is one of them... <laughs> Alright. Let's take a guess what's happening here. Hmm? Let's
女王様が取り囲まれている。Oh, Femdom. Fifty <laughs> shades of play. でもいい年でしょ指名も減ってきてるっていうしさ。あとはナンバーワンの私に任せて引退しなよ。で,でも、今でも私に会いに来てくれるお客様だっていらっしゃいます。その人たちのためにも。いやいや、最近全然客ついてないじゃん。うち結構いい店なのにおばさんがいるせいで格が下がる感じなのよねつうわけであとは私ら若い子にさっさとやめちゃいなよおばさうん<笑> This main girl thing holy shit ぶっちゃけおばさんになってまでムチ振っておっさん踏みつけるとか嫌でしょ私はこの仕事に誇りを持っています。少なくなっても会いに来てくださる方には精神誠意対応しますし、嫌だなんて思ったことはありません。こんな話してんじゃねえんだよ。目障りだから出てけっつってんの。わかる何よ、その目。なんなら今、人前に出られない顔にしてやろうかちょっと待ちなえこんなとこで何騒いでんだよやかましいったらねえぞそれとちょっと聞こえてきたがこの店の格を落としてんのはそこの女王様じゃなくて<笑>おめえらの方だぜあ,あな何このおっさん由美子さんの客盗み聞きとかマジ最悪あんだけでかい声で騒いでりゃ嫌でも耳に入るさそれに俺は客じゃねえただの通りすがりだなら部外者は引っ込んでな通りすがりのおっさんにどうこう言われる筋合いはねえよもういいよ行こうみんなえでも志保まだ話がなんか冷めちゃったしそれに私にも考えがあるから<笑> I, I think I was kind of fortunate when it came to high school. There weren't many, like, stereotypical mean girls at my high school. Or at least in my senior level. They existed, but not to, like, an extreme extent. Yeah, I mean, the stuff is just. Who cares what people? Who cares what other people think? As long as you're happy. And it's like, what fucking business is it of theirs? Yet does he? She's going over there, but this appears to be guarded. Oh, whoa, where did he come from? <laughs> Are we actually fighting billboards? Oh, my God. Now we have to go heavy. Yeah, try it. I imagine that's gonna do well because they spin. <laughs> ah, I thought you didn't get attacked. Right, go beat down. I'm impressed by the enemy variety. It certainly beats um, the other games. <sighs> well, that was rather tame. I couldn't feel a scratch, and somehow that scares me. 
The fault lies completely with, soft, with us, sir. Please accept this session on the house. I don't know what to say. I just wasn't enough for him. Don't worry. Not even the toughest mistress in town could make him feel anything again. No one can. Ah, oh, that's so sad. Oh. That guy is some kind of celebrity or something? Well, you could say he is in our world. We've come to call him Mr. Masochist. Mr. Masochist? That's right. He roams the streets looking for agony and abasement of the lowest caliber. But lately he's been in a funk saying nothing makes him feel proper pain anymore. What happened to the poor guy? And now he's got every kink club in the town bending over backwards, trying to satisfy his needs. They're just rolling with it, huh? Well, think about it. Wouldn't you want to be known as the only establishment who can break the unbreakable? That kind of buzz would be priceless. Ah, that's kind of smart, actually. Everyone in the business is going after him. Rinky kink, fetch a fetish, bloody, bloody gauntlet, the dom dome. But he just walks out sulking. That man was stiff as a board, but not in the way he needed to be. <laughs> that's a great line. Guess that's one way to put it. It's his skin. What? His skin was concrete hard, no matter how much elbow grease I gave it, or any kind of grease for that matter. He wouldn't even flinch. Looks like I still have a long way to go. Don't be so down on yourself. Why don't... We go do some training so that next time he comes around, you can make him feel alive again. Yeah, you're right. Well, time to work on customer service, so to speak. Talk to you later. Yeah. So we've got a Mr. Masochist running around town. Why does this not surprise me? You dare talk back to me, pig! Oh my god. Hey, whatever floats your boat. As long as you're not harming anyone. Or doing anything highly illegal. Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> okay. Um, taxi's probably... Is there a taxi nearby? Oh, over... Yeah, I guess over there is probably the closest. Alright, going to Koreatown. Why do we get style for riding in a taxi? <laughs> I feel like that's... Not very stylish at all, no? Especially these days. When was the last time you took a taxi? Given an U I don't mean an Uber. I mean, like, taxi cab service. Man, they just... They just used to be so dodgy. It's their own fault. They would always ask you where you were going, and if you weren't going far enough, they would just ditch you. <laughs> just stuff like that. Like 16 years ago? Well, there you go. I feel like I, I, I don't know what to say here. You know, <laughs> not just the truth, not just what this, what the fuck this dude's actually doing, but like right now there's a prompt for me to look into daddy issues. 
ブランコ見るとほっこりするな子供の頃好きだったんだよねお父さんや妹とはよく公園で遊んだな<笑>そうか俺もいつか家族ってやつを持ったら休みの日は遊んでやりてえな足立さんが親父っていまいち想像つかねえな<笑>いやいやそこはちゃんと家族サービスするつもりだぜあれだよパパ活ってやつだろいやそれ全然意味違うからよそで言わないでよねえおうなんかすまんいい話になりそうだったのに Okay, give me a sec. Low battery. Oh, that's cool. Okay, all good. All plugged in. Where did these dudes even come from? Nah, it's fine. <laughs> I just had to step over that politely. Again, you know, as strange as it is, it's not the strangest NPC I've walked into doing something. Like the diaper dude. That, um... That certainly was a thing. Shit, there's actually multiple diaper dudes. <laughs> when I say diaper dude, I mean the dude that, like, goes to restaurants and clubs and um, is dressed in a, in a diaper and, um... He's dancing. I don't mean, like, the guy that... Is that, that, um... What is, what is it even? Like, a bar? A club? I don't know. But where businessmen dress up in diapers and, you know, get babied. Not that. I can't believe I have to be specific. I have to elaborate when I say diaper dude. The fact that <laughs> it's happened more than once. Uh oh. Well. I should have summoned Nancy. Did he move? <laughs> Did I? <laughs> Did I glitch him off the tree? Right. <laughs> oh, damn it. What do you mean he's all the way over there? <laughs> what the fuck? Where did he come from? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely not. You're getting the Nancy treatment. Oh, 
everybody. You're sure. I didn't. I didn't even know what the where that dude came from. <laughs> like the other ones, I imagine walked around the corner, but that was across the road. I suppose that's what I get for trying to be funny. That was so good. <laughs> that was so good, though. That did not do a whole lot. Ooh, he is a tough one. Yeah, we have to heal people. Like that guy was clearly not happy about what was going on here. This is not going to be worthwhile. Kill him up. How long does the silence last? But heal Kasuga, please. Okay, finally. No, this is happening. I'm going to I'm going to talk to the guy at the moment this is done. I'm not gonna risk getting into another fight. Not even that much higher level than us. Okay, look, as, as funny as this is, I don't want to get dragged into another battle. Yeah, no, I definitely glitched him. <laughs> I definitely glitched him. He's supposed to be on the tree. Okay, good to know. Right, it is this guy. Mr. Masochus. マゾおじさんだったか。知ってるんですか、僕は。まだ、エスエムクラブの店長から少し噂を聞いただけだ。俺はカスガってんだ。カスガさんですか僕は。まあ、マゾおじさんと呼ばれる方が多いみたいですか
ありとあらゆる風俗店を渡り歩き毎晩女王様の無知を打たれては喜びを感じる幸せな生活を送ってきましたですか幸せってやつは永遠に続くなんてことはないんですよね無知に打たれ続けるにつれて少しずつ僕の感覚が鈍り始めてきたんですやべえ声をかけた以上ちゃんと話を聞くべきなんだろうな<笑>共感できるポイントが全くなくて辛くなってきた今ではこう I, I feel the same way All right then Why? ハガネの肉体になってしまったんです。不安定な体勢で一晩放置なんてプレイもザラでしたから筋肉まで付いちゃって笑い事じゃないんですけどね。本当だな。とにかくもう何でもいいから痛みを感じたくて筋に頭を
I don't know what to say. Any luck? I'm afraid not. Despite being beaten to a pulp, I couldn't feel a thing. Damn. To think I'll never feel true pain again. That by itself almost hurts. Come on, uh, Mr. Masochist, was it? I no longer deserve that name. Please, just leave me be. Okay, dude, at least put on some pants. Fucking hell. <laughs> like, come on. You know what I love? He kept his boots on for some reason. <laughs> I just got... Decided to get completely nude, practically, but left his boots on. Um... Well, it's obviously that... That girl from before. We'll help him. We'll get his ship sailing, so to speak. Oh, I thought for a sec we were going to get something for the shop for him, but then it's like, this is Nabori's glove, yeah. <laughs> wow, having a set of uh, gloves in my hands is unreal. I gotta say though, taking a second to last, the second to last one feels like sliding it to home and hearing the umpire yell, safe. Bet these are selling fast, huh? That bright red color sets my heart on fire. Shoot, if there's only one left, then things aren't looking good for Naboru. Oh. Maybe I should just get it for him before someone else can? Ex excuse me. Oh. Tame-chan. Hello there. You're here for the glove too, aren't you? The Sotiyama model? Crap! Did she reserve it ahead of time? Yes, I'm finally ready to buy it. It's been such a hard month, I hardly know how to, how I managed to scrape the money together. Yeah, saving money in this economy is no easy feat. By the kid's mother or... I'm not sure. And this glove is the priciest one on the shelf. Hope your son likes it. <laughs> For him, it's a small price to pay. He's normally very reserved and doesn't speak his mind. This is the first time he's really asked me for anything. That's how I know how much he wanted this. That lady's son sounds an awful lot alike Naboru. You know, I have to leave him all by himself most nights, but right now there's just no other option. So I'm hoping this can make up for it. Some of it anyway. I'm sure he understands. The only reason you're away is because you're working hard for the both of you. You know, as without a doubt, you're a fantastic mother. Aww. I sure hope so. Anyway, I'm glad I made it on time. I'm taking him out to dinner after this. We used to go out all the time, back when my husband was still alive. Well, hey, you'd better get on over to him. Don't keep the birthday boy waiting. <laughs> so he, she really is Naboru's mom. Happy for your kid. You do have a great mother. Oh, hell no. You gotta be shitting me. Help! Thief! Tame, Chan, are you alright? Ah, don't worry about me, the glove's more important. You bastard! Hold on, Naboru. I'll get your present back. It's gonna feel good rocking a brand new Sotiyama. Bet I could fuck with this thing on. What do you mean? I'm just trying to process that sentence. <laughs> what? That's a jerk who stole Nabori's glove. Alright. Now stay here. Hey thief, you know what I'm here for, right? 
You didn't seriously chase me down just to get a glove, did you? That glove is a little kid's birthday present, and you need to give it back. Huh? Not a chance in hell! This shit could sell for millions of yen on the internet, or I could use it to fuck! I didn't give a damn about how much you think it's worth. What's more precious than a kid's smile or a mother's love? Back it up with that mushy shit. I'll kick your ass. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to add that. All oh, right, she. Yeah, I need to go eat somewhere. Thankfully, this is easy. There. How's that for Mushy? Oh no. Are you okay? That thief. Did you confront him? You're not hurt, are you? Nah, hardly a scratch on me. More importantly, here. It's yours. My son's glove. Oh, how can I ever thank you? I'm afraid I don't have much to offer you, but please, take this. Maximum Middens? You saved my son's birthday. You're really a wonderful person. <laughs> hey, as long as Naboru gets his present, I'm a happy guy. Now, go make his birthday wish come true, huh? Oh? Okay. Wait, how did he know his name? Glad I could get that glove back. I should check up on the bar in a bit. Make sure it all goes well. Um, there is something at the train station. There's an eatery behind me. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm kind of... Wait, it's blocked out. It's closed. Of course it is. Um, I... Oh, no, it's... <sighs> Senpai, don't leave me. Oh. Hey, are you alright? What? Sorry, uh, it's just, I thought you were crying. Oh, yeah, I guess I was. Nah. I could always lend in the air if you want. Helps to let it out sometimes, you know? But if you don't want to vent to some stranger, I get that too. To be honest, it shouldn't be that big a deal. But my senpai, who I've loved for so long, is suddenly going to study abroad. Okay. And after he gets back, he's going straight to college, which is far away from here. I came to the station to let him know my feelings, but the thought of never seeing him again has reduced me to tears. Tears that won't stop flowing. I get it now. So this senpai of yours... Is he gone already? Aww. No. He's at the platform. But that means he's almost gonna leave, no? Right. I want nothing more than to go see him off, but I can't let my senpai see me like this. Not with my eyes all puffy and my makeup smeared, I look disgusting. Oh, come on, it's not that bad. It is too! And I would die if he only remembered me as some sobby, snot-dripping mess. <sighs> But I'll also die just to see him one more time, to send him off with a warm smile, maybe a warm kiss. But that'll never happen. Oh. Hey, hey, no need to be so down on yourself. I know, I should just go. Senpai's right up those steps too. If I see him, it'll be a total disaster, I'm sure of it. Ugh, what should I do? It's like my feet are stuck in place, I can't move forward or back. It's like, no matter what I do, it's gonna turn out wrong. Letting go of someone is always hard. Wish there was some way I could help. All she needs is the courage to take the first step forward. Are you... Too bad she's not like that businessman running full steam ahead. Of course, that was only because of the kimchi. Um, is something wrong? You went all quiet all of a sudden. Oh, no, I I'm good. Now there's an idea. I give her some ultra spicy kimchi, she runs up those stairs without a second thought. But her farewell might be ruined, the stuff's too strong. What's the best option here? <laughs> Obviously give her the kimchi. 
Listen, I know it's tough being away from someone you really care about. I would know. You would? Oh. Yeah. And all you want to do is give him a piece of your mind, right? Yes. But my feet won't move no matter what I do. Then why don't I give you a little push? Huh? Yeah. Don't ask. Just eat. No red flags here. Just... Take a bite. Wait, what? Come on! Ew, no. Why kimchi? And why are you trying to feed me? I'm not trying to feed you. I'm offering you a shortcut to success. Now, get over yourself and try it. That is the stupidest idea I've ever heard, and from a stranger, no less. Thinking kimchi's gonna solve my problems. The train will be arriving shortly on platform one. Please wait behind the yellow line. Hey, clock's ticking. You have to leave right now or it's game over. Ask yourself, do I want to see my senpai or not? Fine. If Kimchi's going to help, I'll do it. I doubt this will change anything. Ah, this is too spicy! Ah, ah. Senpai! I'm sorry. <laughs> Oof, that's one way to light a fire. Maybe I'll check on her just in case. Oh. Huh? Excuse me, you can't go in without purchasing a ticket, sir. Even if you are seeing someone off. Ah, right. Did I... <laughs> Okay, I spent money on the ticket. Looks like the train took off. Hope she made it to a senpai in time. Gekko, what's wrong? Your face is all red. <coughs> it was the kimchi! Here, let me get you to the first aid office. Nah, I'll be alright. It's not as bad as it looks. Anyway, sorry. I made you miss your train. That's not what it's important. I'm just glad you're okay. That guy! Listen, there's something I need to tell you! Oh, what is it? I've been feeling- I can't keep this voice up. I've been feeling this way for a long time and... Yeah, this would be a good time to bail. But I mean, you wouldn't be able to speak if Ew. it was really that spicy. Yo! You tell him how you feel? Oh! Yeah, I did. And guess what? We're going to the same college once I graduate high school, that is. He did say he'll be waiting for me, though. Sweet. So, it all worked out, huh? I think so. It's gonna be a lonely road until then, plus I'm kind of a dit, so I don't even know if I'll even get accepted. Arigato. But even so, I'm not gonna let you... I'm not gonna let that deter me. And hey, thanks for helping a girl out. Aw, oh, that's cool. Must be nice to be young in love. See? Your face... Was leaky as a faucet and your cheeks were red as a tomato, but a beautiful smile is what really counts. Gee, thanks. I couldn't have done it without the kimchi, you know. Haha, <laughs> yeah, probably. My bad. Sheesh, well, I guess I should go study. Gotta work hard to get into the right school. Yeah, I bet. Good luck. I love how he just materialized a pot out of his pocket, but, you know, video game logic. Hey, actually, that kimchi wasn't too bad. Thanks for the snack. I should be the one thanking you. You showed me how useful a container of kimchi can be. Maybe I'll share this with others who look like they need it. Are there other people who need this? Okay. I'm not wrapping up, but I'm taking an intermission, because it's been a few hours, and I don't want this VOD to end up being long on the VOD's channel later. So, um, if you are checking this out as a replay later on the VOD's channel, thanks for sticking around to the end, hope you enjoyed. If you did and want to support the channel, just click the like button or something. Any of that stuff helps out a lot. Uh, yeah, thanks if you do that, and yeah, see you in the next one.